Hey, what's up guys? Okay, wanted to do week four, episode four for you on quick tips, uh, quick strategies, just basically anything to help you out as a beginning new trader. And I think the topic of this week should be what are the best indicators to use when you're first starting out trading and even when you're a veteran, but what are the major indicators you should be paying attention to? And it's kind of a loaded question or it's kind of a loaded topic because everybody on YouTube is going to preach this get rich quick stuff. They're going to tell you MACD and RSI and Ichimoki Cloud and all this stuff. And the thing that you got to remember is 80% of the success, if anything, is going to be in like the 20%. So all of that overcomplication, all that overthinking, all those things that you hear and get rich quick and holy grail – Eliminate that from your mind. When I first started trading nine years ago, eight, nine years ago, I literally had every single indicator to Bollinger Bands, to RSI, to volume, volume profile, everything that you can have, basically Ichimoku Cloud on my charts. And I realized not only do they lag, but it's noise. So all these fancy things, that's kind of what I want to kind of reiterate is it's all fancy talk. They lag a true confirmation in stocks is something like say a death candle or what we call a teleport candle in MIC. So, you know, a stock is trending up and then boom, it like has a massive sell off in one candle, a lot of volume comes out. That's a real time confirmation. But when you see things like Bollinger Bands and Ichimoku Clouds and things like that and all these fancy terms and lingo and they look good on your, I mean, hey, it looks like you're doing something right on your charts because you have an indicator up. They lag. So by the time you're like, hey, this is touching that line and this is hitting those levels, the trade might be over. They're not real time. So there's a difference between confirmation within a certain indicator and then there's not. And I don't want you guys using anything that's a lag because in hindsight, hindsight's 2020, it's like, oh yeah, of course this should have happened. See, it hit the Bollinger Bands, blah, blah, blah. Okay, those things lag. It's not really real time. So it's kind of hard to go off and see how almost, I guess the word would be legit they are for a proven strategy. So just be aware of the holy grail stuff. It doesn't work. Now, back to what indicators should I be paying attention to? And I'm kind of going to, I'm actually going to group these, not just as indicators, but just major things that you should have on your chart. Um, something you should be paying attention to what's on your chart, because the chart of a stock and the price action is literally just the love story of the bid and the ask, like the level two, the numbers that did, 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 did. what those are, the chart is a visual representation of those, which is supply and demand. So the three things that I want you to pay attention to on your charts, and believe me, as a veteran trader, as many veteran traders I know, we all use the same thing. And number one, and remember, they're not just indicators, but in a sense, they kind of are. Number one is going to always be volume. Volume is demand. If the stock is not liquid, it does not have volume. Now, a certain, you know, predefined number of volume, I'm not going to talk about that specifically. I could use that in a whole nother video, but make sure that the stock you're trading has a lot of volume. So it's liquid. You can fill your buy. You can fill your sell. You can fill your short. You can fill your cover. You can have action and get the fills that you want and um, participate along with all the other demand and, you know, supply and demand that is trick like trickling down on the bid and the ask through the chart. Number two is trend. And again, these are not necessarily indicators, but they kind of are. A trend of the stock is like an uptrender or a downtrender or just kind of like a choppy da, 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 like channel trader that bow trades. So the thing about trend is it is so, again, keep it simple. It's so simple to understand once you learn a process, once you learn price action a little bit, that, hey, if a stock opens up at $2, and goes to $7 pre-market and then opens in the open intraday. You know, you have your pre-market and then it opens, you know, at the morning bell. It opens around two or three. That trend is pretty much down. The stock has given up a lot of its gains. So, you know, the whole thing about trend, guys, is you want to ride trend. You don't want to be a contrarian until the right confirmations are there. And that's a little bit more advanced for you guys. You know, that would be a whole nother video again as well. But when it comes to trend, do not fight trend. Ride with trend. And the thing that you can complement with trend and volume is VWAP. And this actually is a true indicator. And it's really the only indicator that I use on my trading and most traders in MIC use. 
and it's an over and under, and I'll explain why. Big money is attracted through VWAP, volume weighted average price. And the reason why this works is because the big money follows it. So I'll say it like this without getting too process on you in this short video. Generally speaking, above VWAP, above VWAP, whatever, I put blue on my chart, so it's a blue line. Above that blue line, you can set it to whatever you want, is going to be bullish. Anything under is technically bearish. Now, there is a process or there's certain identifiers and confirmation that you can pay attention to and learn, you know, like the, um, the semantics of VWAP, but generally speaking, over and under. So when you complement and combine as coupling factors, VWAP, volume, and trend, you're going to learn how to trade that that stock chart correctly. That ticker symbol, you're going to know what to do, especially if you have some risk management in there. So stay away from fanciness. Stay away from holy grail. Stay away from get rich quick. Stay away from adding all these freaking things to your chart that just lag and don't make sense and make you look smarter than they are, than you are <laughs> and the chart is. But just make sure that you're paying attention to at minimum volume, VWAP, and trend. And you're going to have a great starting guide for learning price action and really making some money in this industry. Um, guys, if you want to understand any more of this, if you have any questions on maybe any of the topics I talked about today, text my line. Just We can chat and I can go over some of these at 213-458-5997. We can make sure you're up to speed on any of this. And if you also want to see a multi-million dollar a year um, annual uh Trader Alex Tamiz give a full on, you know, live free webinar on this. Go to myinvestingclub.com slash webinar. I think Alex made after fees and commissions and everything this year, minus taxes. In 2021, he made like over 3 million. So if you want to learn and uh, watch a webinar from him, go check that out. See you guys.